Hi, this is Habiba. Welcome to Habiba's Canadian Journey. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm going to be talking about the open work permit for spouses of people who, who are coming to Canada to study. So if you're coming to Canada to study and you're thinking of bringing your spouse, there's a provision available whereby your spouse can get an open work permit and work in Canada while you study in Canada. So that is what I'm going to be talking about today. Let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, if this is your first time here and you're yet to subscribe, please don't forget to subscribe. It's very easy to do so and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that anytime there's a new video, you'll get a notification. Also, if you're new to this whole, you know, Canada immigration stuff and you hear things like PMP, IELTS, the TEF exams, and you're wondering what is that about? Don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been here before. What you can do is you can book a one-on-one -on -one clarity session with me. You can do that by following me on Instagram at Bieber's Canadian Journey. Uh, send me a DM, book a one-on-one -on -one session. And I call this clarity sessions because by the time we're done, you will understand what this whole immigration process is about. Okay, so let's get right to it. The spousal open work permit. I actually had a different topic to discuss today. However, over the past couple of weeks, a lot of people have been contacting me about schooling in Canada, coming here to study. And half of these people are married and asking what's gonna happen to their kids, what's gonna happen to their spouses or common law partners. So if you've been following immigration news, like I always do, you would notice or you have realized that i think it was last week or two weeks ago immigration canada stated that one of the fastest streams right now to get people to canada is going to be the student stream okay and your visa your student visa application can be processed between um in a time frame of three or four months in fact last week someone contacted me and her visa was processed in six weeks her student permit Okay, so this is going to be one of the fastest streams and because of this, a lot of people, okay, are actually considering the stream right now, coming to Canada to study. Now, the truth is coming to Canada has, a, no, coming to study in Canada has a lot of advantages. You know, let's not even talk about, I'm not going to bore you with all of that. However, for a lot of people, okay, They'll come and study. They want to come and study in Canada because the fact is, if you come, if you study in Canada, you um, study a course that's more than 12 months. You do a one-year course or a two-year degree or program. The chances of you getting your permanent residency and remaining in Canada permanently and legally is very, very possible. It's very high. Okay, so a lot of people come, do a 12 month study, get that Canadian experience. So you can be studying and that will be considered the Canadian experience. And a lot of provinces have international graduate streams whereby once you're done studying, you meet certain cri um, criteria, you can start applying for your permanent residency. And half the time, you don't even need to have a job. So this is just one of the, you know, greatest advantages of coming to study in Canada. You're done studying, let's start thinking of PR. It doesn't get um, easier than that. Okay, but the truth is a lot of people coming to study are mature students and these people have spouses and they have kids and people are wondering what's gonna happen to their spouse or their children. And let me just throw it out there, okay? You can be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. If you want to come and study in Canada, don't let anything deter you from coming to study. People have, you know, a lady contacted me the other day. She said, oh, we'll be I'm 40 something. Um, would they take me? I'm like, if you meet the criteria and you want to come and study, why not? <laughs> it's never too early or too late to get a degree. So don't let your age deter you i just thought let me just put that out there just in case anyone is wondering so if you're coming to study in canada 
and you want to bring your spouse and your kids you can absolutely do that now there's a stream available called the um, spousal open work permit SOWP and this is for people who want to come and study who their spouses are coming to study and they want to come with their spouses and they want to be able to work in Canada now this spousal open work permit is fantastic because it means that your spouse can come and work full-time and because it's an open permit they can work in any organization so there's no limit to where they can work okay the spousal open work permit i'm going to put all the links in the description of this video so you can you know read further and get more information now how do you apply for that there are two ways to do that some people when they're still in their home country so the main applicant is applying for has gotten admission into a university or college in canada and is applying for their study permit there's the um opportunity that when the main applicant is applying for their study permit they would also put in an application for an open work permit for their spouse so that opportunity is there so you can do this before you know you come to canada okay now if you're going to do this before you come to canada make sure that when you're sending in the application you're sending in your study application that you're also sending the processing fee for the spousal open work permits application so that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it is that the main applicant so the student will apply for this work permit for their spouse after they get to canada now quite a number of people go through this uh, use this means so the main applicant will come to canada on a student permit and then the spouse of the main applicant and the kids will come with um to canada on a holiday visa or the temporary resident visa so they come together and then when they come the um the spouse can then apply for the spouse or open, open work permit. So you can do it before you get to Canada or after. Now, I really, really like this open work permit because honestly, trust me guys, I've been an international student. <laughs> As an international student in Canada, you can work for 20 hours. Now, 20 hours, if you have a spouse, if you have a family, is really not a lot, but then, Imagine your spouse com coming with you, getting the open work permit and being able to work full time in any organization. The extra finances is really, really going to help. And a lot of people take advantage of this opportunity. Because even though you're allowed to work 20 hours, there will be some weeks where you have back to back coursework. You need to submit some papers. There's dissertation. You have tests or exams and you think it's should i study should i work <laughs> so if your spouse is working or your common law partner has an open work permit and they're working then you can concentrate in school because the truth is you did come to study okay and you getting your permanent residency or a permanent work permit is you know dependent on the fact that you finish your studies successfully so that opportunity is open it's available please take advantage of it now the duration of this open work permit is the same duration as the student permits so if the main applicant is getting a study permit for 12 months then the spouse will get an open work permit for 12 months it just makes sense because you're here to, as a supporting applicant to support the student. So if the student is going to be here for 24 months, you would also get an open work permit for 24 months. But as usual, with everything Immigration Canada, there is some criteria and you have to meet the criteria. So I'm going to put all the links in the description of the video. Please read um, to get more information. And sometimes the process you know, varies um, from country to country. So depending on which country you're coming from, but this is available take advantage of it okay when we're getting married i told my husband i will follow you follow you wherever you may go <laughs> so if that is you and your spouse wants to come and study in canada and you're like you know what 
I'm coming with you, <laughs> then you might want to look into this. So that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. And if you still have some questions, you still want to know more or like be that, you know, how, you know, how can I apply this? Then you can send me a message. Follow me on Instagram at Biba's Canadian Journey. Just send a DM or you can send me an email, bibaonwara at gmail.com for a one-on-one -on -one clarity session if you want to know more. And we will take it from there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, a friend of mine sent this to me for my birthday. I don't know if you can see it. I thought it was a really thoughtful gift and I really, really love it. Uh, anyway, keep watching Viva's Canadian Journey and until next time, take care. Hi, my name is Habiba.